Hey, it's August 19th, about 8.40 a.m., and I'm heading up to uh, Kentucky to watch the Great Eclipse. I hope to document all the uh, adventures that I have to endure to get up there, seeing that it's supposedly going to be a madhouse and all. So, uh, come along for the ride. Hey, boys and girls. I made it into Arkansas. I got about 150 miles to go, I guess, and I'll stop in Little Rock. The weather forecast is showing for partly cloudy up there where I'm going, so I hope it don't screw it all up. But I guess we'll see when we get there. And attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. So the first part of my trip was just to make it up to Little Rock, Arkansas and find a room. And that's what I've done, although I'm actually in Maumelle, Arkansas. And I met the uh, America's Best Value Inn and Sweets. about not the current eclipse coming up but one from the past that was really interesting to forming my society, the Astronomical Society of the Pacific. Looks like I got good sale service. I picked a good spot. Number one priority right now is to get some chicken. Think I'll head up there and climb that there mountain. Or is that a volcano? to climb a mountain good way to start your day I'd say oh, man. this is a mountain Oh my God, it's so hot, it's so steep. Damn, look up there, I'll never make it. Oh man, call 9 wan wan Somebody call a white ambulance. Holy crap, this is like Mount Everest. Instead of nice snow to walk on, full of big old rocks. I have reached the summit. I have conquered this mountain. It belongs to me. I am the king of the mountain. All that I survey is mine. For I have conquered this mountain. Long way down. A lot of rocks. No, 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 we're coming down here. All right. 
Look how steep the trail is. We gotta go down there. See how easy this is going down? Yeah. We're not climbing all the way up. And we ain't dying. Our legs. Yeah. I'm tired. Well, that hike wore me out. I had to go back to the hotel and take a shower. But now I'm on the road headed towards Memphis. And then up to Blasville to my room. So we'll see how it goes. Well, looky there. It's the mighty Mississippi. Man, over there in Memphis, and over there on the left is a fucking pyramid. What the hell? Man, look at that. I'm in Tennessee now. Mississippi. Oh, I tell you what. Couldn't find them glasses anywhere. Had to drive all the way to where they make them. I'm somewhere in Memphis. This is a really pretty neighborhood. There's that pyramid again. Get 400 yards. Turn left. Then take the exit right. The pound coming through. Which way did he say? A hell of a bridge. Mississippi River again. I booked this hotel on uh, Priceline.com, but they didn't mention that uh, the roof was like this. Apparently they had a tornado a few weeks ago Tore up the roof we Made it so far to uh, Blasville, Arkansas Which is about two and a half hours away from the area of totality under normal driving conditions and I've been looking on the internet about reports from up in Kentucky and they were expecting uh, close to 200,000 people up in that area and they're saying they're not there which is good news unless they all try to go there the same time I'm trying to go there in the morning which I'm hoping doesn't happen so it looks like everything's going to be good now, I've been watching the road out here it's a major uh, route up into Kentucky and or the end of the st. Louis area and there's not that much traffic headed that way I've noticed uh, a lot of Texas license plates and there's there's several Texas license plates here in the hotel I'm at so I think my plan is to get up about four in the morning look out there on the interstate see what the traffic's like and if it looks thick I'm gonna get up and get gone 
very early. If not, maybe I'll have time to hang around for the free breakfast here. I guess we'll see tomorrow morning at 4. Monday, August 21st, into a thin strip across the United States, just 70 miles wide, where a total eclipse will occur. But what if you are well out? Well, it's 5.30. I don't see much traffic out there. The parking lot at the hotel sure filled up. I think I'm going to get it on the road. It's 6 a.m. and I'm on the road. I'm just north of Blytheville. Kind of foggy out this morning. It's going to be a great day. I am now in Missouri. Crossing the Mississippi again. to Kentucky. I'm going to get me some Kentucky bourbon. Well, I've made it to Mayfield, Kentucky. And I am just moments away from being in the totality zone. Here, I'll show you. Okay, I'm right here at this intersection. And up here in this gray line, that is the area of totality and I'm trying to get up here to the center line so somewhere in this area it's in good weather and it looks like we're gonna have it uh, gonna be a nice nice day you are at the point of greatest eclipse uh, for the 2017 total solar eclipse right here in Hopkinsville Kentucky two minutes 40.1 seconds to be exact if you want to get technical about this the thing that uh, one of the things that interests me uh, the most is uh, how I've read that people feel so moved by the experience a lot of people do not everybody some people you can't move them with a boat <laughs> some it's nine o'clock now and I am well inside the totality zone and the sky is clear so I'd say I have a pretty good chance of witnessing total eclipse today I'm starting to see these eclipse parties all over the place this is at a Walmart I believe we're close to Princeton I am right here Princeton Kentucky right on the center line of the eclipse several hours to go
really selling. When you pull in the front of this, it's going to out the sun. Uh oh, bad news. Clouds are building. getting darker. You can already tell it's getting darker right here. Okay, well maybe the, we need to adjust that. This is where the other... See, that's about right. There any chiggers over there? They all jump out as soon as it gets dark, right? I will be itching after the fact. The and chiggers sirens. start to bite as soon as it gets dark. Oh, it's really getting towards It's the getting dark. really close now, folks. It's a lot darker, and it's even getting cooler. It's, it's incredible. I can't believe y'all didn't come up here. It's pretty late. It's getting dark is weird because the shadows are all the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My camera doesn't show what the lighting's really like. It's really getting dark, and it's a very unusual dark because it's it's not like twilight or a, a dawn. It's it's still a, a, like a white-colored light, but very dim. It's it's really weird and eerie. Almost gone. Look at that. There it goes. Look at the darkness are coming. It, Look three, at that. Two, one, dark. Look at it, man. Hey, incredible. who turned out the lights? Wow. It's incredible. Wow. Here it comes. Oh, man. There it goes. There's Venus. Wow. Star. No, you see Venus. Is it Mercury? No, I think it's Venus. It keeps right through Mercury. There is the sun. I'm not picking out any Corona. I am. Oh, those spiky bits? I guess it's Corona. Yeah. Okay. Get a shot. I'm Do that trying. camera thing. I'm trying. 
Anybody got a countdown? <laughs> wow, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Flashing. That's Venus over there. I mean, in the binoculars, I see either a star or Mercury. This is the awesomest thing I've ever seen. Don't worry about it. Unbelievable looking. It is so crazy looking. It's unreal. Holy crap. It is cool. It is like night time right now. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. No, that's all the way around, yeah. Do it again, do it again, do it again! <laughs> Wow, comes right up real quick. Real quick. Oh yeah, he breaks right back 